What's up? Welcome to the channel. It's your boy, Denot. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel as soon as you get here. So right here on the screen is Thais Report, a.k.a. Jonetta's Diabetic Brother. Now, I don't believe in picking and poking at anyone. I want to get him the help that he needs. I actually bought him some Dermacure to get rid of the blackness around his neck. My next venture is to buy him a juicer so that he can drink some celery and cure his, you know, dysfunction. Nobody's picking at you for having diabetes. Nobody's picking at you for being obese. I want to get you the help that you need. Now, another thing that I'm going to pray, I'm going to pray to God that God heals him, heals his spirit, and get that homosexual demon up off of him. Now, someone sent me some screenshots of Jonetta's diabetic brother reaching out to them from a different state on a popular gay app called Jack. He was actually offering to fly them out so that they can have a good time with him. And you wonder, well, how's he getting this money to fly random strangers off of Jack to Los Angeles when there's a lot of options in Los Angeles? Well, the thing is, he's scamming and grifting from his supporters in the name of God, in the name of the black Christian community. So the more money you guys send him, the more he's allowed to go to the Beverly Hilton Hotel to get his back blown out. And the more he's actually able to fly out random strangers to have XEX with him. There's a big controversy when it comes to homosexuality in the church, but I know an evil spirit when I see it. It's not like you're being a homosexual and you have one partner, but you're being extremely promiscuous with HPV, HIV. We want to pray that the homosexual demon is lifted up off of Jonetta's diabetic brother. Thank you. Jonetta and Charles went live on Bego to address the haters. They had a lot to say about black women, Facebook, and YouTube content creators. So let's get into the content. And I got something surprise for the people, the kids in my hometown too. So it does not matter. I'm giving back to the people that give back to me. That, that got me all this money this week and this month and this year. I'm going to give some of it back, okay? And I have tried, I have tried to do some of that. And that's what I have been doing, just like I told y'all. If y'all, some of y'all will go, and y'all will go look on my page from years and years ago, I always gave back to people. Even if I got them on my live and tell them I'm gonna pay your light bill today. Or I got them on live, I'm, I'm gonna pay your mortgage today. Go, y'all, you can't, you can't look at it. Not from years back, because, but some of these people that's on here that been watching me for years, they can vouch for it, because that's what I used to do. I used to give away Michael Kors bags, and it wasn't knockoff. I was giving away- Wait, how you giving away real Michael Kors bags, seeing it's not knockoff, when you and Charles at the height of your career, and you decide to go on Zeus Network with fake clothes, fake jewelry, and fake bags, in a nasty attitude. It doesn't make any uh, sense. Coach bag, and it was not knockoff. Ask the people that wore them, and that rap got on the raffle. I don't Baby, believe it. This what y'all got going on here is just a bunch of BS. That's all I can say. Social media people out here, y'all making all this money off of these people watching y'all. And then Mr. Hillary and Laquanda and, uh, and, <laughs> and, uh, 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 Muffin Man or whatever <laughs> she is, they <laughs> should be the ones that helping y'all. Because they the one coming up with all these false accusations about Miss Nell and Charles, telling all these lies got y'all poured into them, but they can't give nothing back to y'all. They can't even go have a meal, with, pay for y'all a meal. With they broke asses, but they on this <laughs> level. I doubt it very seriously. I doubt it very, very seriously. Y'all know no one is on the level that Charles and I is on. Y'all know that for a fact. Hello, so I am sick and tired of you feeling and thinking that way. I understand you got internet fame, but even Christian Rock, as popular she is, she's having a hard time having people to deposit money into her canteen account. 
she actually promoted a football game three weeks before the football game happened. Her very first football game. I went to it and the stadium was empty. So a lot of people feel like just because you got a lot of followers and clout online means that that translate in real life. It absolutely don't. I get that you call your supporters the icons, but there is no way in hell that you should be continuously comparing yourself to Beyonce or anyone that actually has a legitimate resume. I mean, we see you pull the stunt at the BET Awards like you was the show saying the BET War had the highest ratings because of you. I guess Keith Lee thought the same thing. You guys are not talented. There's no talent. All you do is say, Charles, your lunch is ready. Other than that, we're just watching you figuring out when you're going to go to Dr. Pimper Popper. Because when y'all get on y'all social media page, who the hell do y'all see? Every day, all day. Who do y'all see? <laughs> and some of y'all done blocked us and unfollowed us. But still, who the hell y'all see? <laughs> you're the butt end of the joke, Jonetta. Y'all see us. Because we... It's social media in 2024. And was at the end of 23. So it's all about Charles and Miss Nettie. And Charles did not get with Jonetta until about April 2023, but want to sit up there and say that they was together since 2018, which is exactly why Jonetta was like, oh, you can't go back and see it. Where's that history? There's no pictures. There's no messages. There's no evidence that they were together prior to Charles been in a heterosexual relationship with a woman who I've reached out to and hopefully she come to this platform and interview. So like this video, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully we get that exclusive content. But like Jonetta is so delusional. Jonetta is delusional to the point to where he had to take Charles, whose real name is Rolandis, and name him Charles after Jonetta's ex that he was with for 20 years that randomly you know, passed away. Some people say that Joe Netta put something in his food and now he has Charles over there and want to reminisce about that relationship and pretty much make Charles into that ex that he was with for 20 plus years. It's giving narcissistic all around Joe Netta. Girl, you are the butt end of the joke. People going to laugh. We going to gag. We love a crash dummy, but I have to give it to Joe Netta to be so unattractive but to act like you're attractive and act like all of this clout all of these clicks and views are but for the positive we're laughing at you like let's be clear i feel like if jonetta clear his face up then jonetta would not get as many clicks and views what do you guys think let me know in the comments below right now just like they was talking about on the bet award all that other stuff happened on the bet award Usher cussed out everybody. Uh, Taraji P. Henson, she uh, got into it with somebody. All this stuff that was going on on fucking BET Award. Y'all said a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit about that. But y'all spoke the entire whole fucking world, Miss Nella and goddamn Charles. No, we didn't. We talked about that. People talked about that before you. We was laughing at you. Like, Joe Netta can I wish somebody who's really real would sit down with Jonetta and ask the right questions and not be threatened and intimidated and allow Jonetta's delusion to overtake the conversation because you're scared that Jonetta is going to leave your platform or whatever for a click interview. Just like the other day, Larry Reed interviewed Jonetta and Charles. I firmly believe Larry Reed did that in order to get closer to Charles so that he can, you know, pretty much find out some information about Charles or probably even take Charles into his mansion over in Atlanta to put his spirit in him, if you know what I mean. All over the blogs, all over the social media, all over the shade room, all over the voice talk, all over every single thing we was all over. They weren't worried about Tahaj, I mean, her, her, her argument. They weren't worried about what Usher, who, who, y'all couldn't hear. But those are credible artists with 30 plus year resumes in Hollywood. You have no talent. What are you going to put on your resume that you have millions of followers and subscribers on live? Okay, well, what's your talent? Can you actually pick up a script to, to produce and film a movie like Taraji? Can you actually sing? Can you do anything? Absolutely not. That whole, because Charles, your lunch is red. And we tired of it. It's getting played out. We just picking and poking at the bumps on your face. I said, because Charles. Charles. Yes. Your lunch is ready. Coming. Because <laughs> they bleeped it all out. They were worried about that. They were worried about that. They were worried about that. Oh. <laughs> 
so Look funny. Look at the tomatoes to in the chat. And the thing about it is, y'all haters, y'all feed into that negativity bullshit. And that's what I be wanting. Because as long as y'all do what y'all got to do, we are going to be all over the damn world. All over the world. International, domestic. All over the world, baby. That's what y'all doing to us. That's all. We don't care you taking pictures and blowing up my feet, hanging out my shoes. Hell yeah, I seen that <laughs> shit. And did I think we're funny? <laughs> Hell yeah, we're no, funny you to me too. But I was like, God, girl, I didn't know. But I don't care. I do not care what y'all got to say about me. And if y'all don't know that now, y'all will never know. I don't give a Your face bumped up. My face, I don't care. I do not care. I don't care. Talk about me. They talked about Jesus Christ. And I know I ain't Jesus, but y'all trying to act like I'm like Jesus Christ. But that's one thing about it is, because I got so many people out there that love Miss Netta and Charles to death. Do y'all hear me? I well, how do you go to an event in Dallas and nobody cares? Just people want to watch it on the internet and picking at you, sitting there singing that song wearing a dress in heels and standing like a man in heels. Like, you're just cosplaying. You know, Joe Netta don't want to admit that he's a part of the trans community, but you identify as trans regardless of what you say. You know, you say, oh, no, this is the character that I play. It's almost like someone that's gay that's sitting there seeing they're bisexual when they won't even get, you know, hard for a, a vagina or anything. It's the same difference with Joe Netta and Charles. And I can tell my, my icons right now to go... Go to somebody and attack them. They just shut their ass down. But I ain't that type of person. They, they send people at me all the time. Gabe and... So you're admitting that you are a bully, but you also want to sit there and act like you're innocent. Just like you sat there with Charles and made a two-hour video discussing the fallout with Carlos. And then when Carlos responded, you wanted to act like you try to let him go easy and nice and he's the bad guy. But in actuality, Jonetta, you are an internet bully. You want the smoke. And when people give you the smoke, you act like it doesn't bother you. And then eventually you crash out, start apologizing to all of these people. Didn't you just apologize to Laquanda? Like, what was it, like a week ago? And now you're back talking crap about Laquanda? You want the smoke. So stay in the kitchen. And I'm not talking about in the kitchen where you're cooking the food, putting whatever God knows in Charles' food to keep him around. But let's, let's play the game. Don't get mad when it when people are smoking you and when people are talking about them bumps, your feet, your relationship and everything. Right here, you're crashing out. Whether you realize it or not, thank you for the content. Kwanda and uh, Mr. Hillary, they send people at me all the time. And I just laugh at it. But like, they don't know that's making me money. Because anytime they mention Miss Nutter and Charles, I get a coin for it. <laughs> It don't work like that. I don't care. That's why like, I don't gonna talk about me. Talk about my face. Talk about my teeth, talk about my ass, talk about it all. I might go get this motherfucker deflated just so I can go back flat so y'all can talk about that shit. Cause that was all over. <laughs> but right now I'm gonna bend it over on this stove to make sure it's, my food is done. <laughs> the gold game, let me bend this over the gold game. Hold on, can y'all see me? That is ew. Ew. Yeah. Kiss that right there. Kiss that. That's disgusting. Yeah. They go back there. I feel harassed. I'm gonna go file a restraining order of charges against you. Y'all doing all the time. 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 Because I know I ain't getting no money for that day. I got to go and put out a video or something or whatever real to get so I, so I can get some recognition or something. But I be mad. And I go in there and I do something dumb and stupid and say something crazy or cut somebody out or something. And bam, I'm back on. Back on. So you know how to play the game. So next time somebody come out and say something or you antagonize someone to respond and defend themselves, don't sit there and play the victim and the bully at the same time. That's crazy to me, Jonetta. Come, oh, baby. All over. Y'all know I ain't reading none of these damn comments. I got comments popping up on all social media sites. <laughs> and I ain't reading them. And I know y'all know I love y'all. I love y'all. Those that love me, I love y'all more. And those that don't love me, fuck you. Okay? I don't care. Keep talking about me. That's the only thing. And another thing. 
this is all, this is to all the black African American women. Listen at me and listen at me clearly. If you don't want me coming up, coming for you, mm -mm. then just stop fucking coming for me, okay? And then you want to put it out there, Miss Nutter don't, don't like black women, but that's what she's trying to be. No, it's not. I ain't trying to be no motherfucking black woman. Because I can say some of the baddest things about some black ass women that I know. So hell no, I ain't trying to be no black woman. You're not trying to be a black woman? Go to your Facebook page. People can see er your very first picture on Joe Robinson Facebook page. You look like a woman. You have nails. You have your hair sleek, silk pressed. Only women do that. Like, no man do that. People didn't even know if you was a man or a woman for the longest because really and truthfully, I know some bad deep, deep freezer, upside down, Hennessy shaped bottom women that look just like Joe Netta. We didn't know that. You cosplay as a woman. You want us to think and feel like you are a woman. You dress up like a woman. What are you talking about? You know, I, I just feel like Jonetta needs to just come out and say that he's non-binary. And maybe it'll make a lot more sense as to why he don't classify or identify as a woman. But at the same time, don't try to identify as a man either. Because you want to be a man and tough, but then you want to cry like a little bee whenever people give you the smoke. If that's the case, I want to be a white woman. Because they more smarter. Because y'all said if y'all act... Oh my gosh, not with the anti-black. Jonetta, your core audience is black women. And now you're saying that you want to be a white woman if you was a woman. Ain't no white women watching you. It's only black women. And black people that are subscribed to you and watching you. This is very anti-black and disturbing to me what do you guys think in the comments below or do you are you guys gonna like justify what jonetta said you know it's a crash out it's a uh, showing of true colors you know it reminds me of the episode on lovecraft country when um the lady drunk the potion and she was a white woman for a day and she just lost her mind after that you know i'm ignorant and act like y'all don't know how to get shit. And y'all just, then you want to sit up and want shit given to you all the damn time, but then you want to cry about it. You know, so don't look at- That's like the pot calling a kettle black. And me and don't try to be, you know, be little me because I get on here and I fuss at you motherfuckers because y'all get on here y'all do it. Ain't no white women <laughs> on my page disrespecting me. Somebody said, yeah, you effed up now. Yeah, you did. Absolutely. Jonetta is anti-black. Jonetta- Pretty much hates black women. You don't say anything like this. And then you know by tomorrow, next week, once Jonetta realized that all the clicks and the views and all everybody that's watching you is a black woman and they're offended. And when the views go down, Jonetta's going to, oh, I'm sorry. This is what I meant. Please come back to me. Please support me. I need to pay my bills. Get out of here. Cussing me out and all up in me and my husband business. Hell no, because they know how to mind they damn business. But you bitches don't. Ooh. And then when I get on y'all ass, oh, yeah, like that with it. Bitch, no, I just don't like you. Okay? That be my point. I don't like you. It ain't about no black women or, no, or men. Because guess what? I get on the motherfucking men too. And I know you see that. So it ain't just about no black women. So just put it out there that Miss Netta don't like black people. Okay? That's Oh my goodness. Now, there's a certain energy that comes in the black community, like a certain urbanish energy, right? But for you to sit down on Zeus Network, which have like the ratchet black audience and black crowd, and for you to want to do business with that crowd, you it's like you don't know your audience. You're crashing out. Jonetta just said he don't like black people, period. What do you guys think about that? I don't want to hear no apology. I don't want to hear any excuses. The case, I'd rather for you to say it like that than just to say I don't like black women. Just say I don't like black people. Oh my people. gosh. Shit. That's what I be feeling to say like, oh. oh my God. And then there's white people in Jonetta's chat saying I'm white and I'm dissing you. You don't want to diss the white people. You want to go and shuck and jive and coon to the white people and flaunt that you have all of these black women and black people following you and that you're obligated to be called an icon and they're obligated to do business with you because you can bring your following into the mix. Like, you're done, Jonetta. But y'all will get it together one day. I don't care. I don't care what's going on in y'all house. 
And y'all don't care about what's going on in my house because I put it out there. I put what I want y'all to see. Y'all don't see everything that's going on in my house. And you'll never see what everything that goes on in my house. You're only going to see what I want you to see, what I want you to know. And what you want us to see and what you want us to know is that you are in a happy relationship with Charles when he don't like you. You want us to feel like, like you are crazy, Jonetta. Delusional, go take your medication, bipolar, schizophrenic, crazy. But stop trying to paint me as a bad person I don't like black women. You just said you don't like black women. You want to be a white woman. You just said you hate black people. And then in the same breath, don't paint it out to be like you really. This is this is why people need micromanagement. This is why social media personalities don't transition into mainstream media. This is why it's important for people in mainstream media to have representatives who can talk business for them. And anytime they open their mouths, it's time for them to audition or be professional, be at a professional event. You need a mouthpiece. You had Carlos, and now that Carlos is gone, your true colors are showing. He said he didn't want anything to do with the circus. I firmly believe you're crashing out. There's no more bookings. You just said that you had a booking in Atlanta, Georgia coming up at the end of this month. That booking, I'm pretty sure, is canceled because it's going to be nothing but black people in there. And I feel bad for you to go to Atlanta, Georgia, thinking that these black women and black men are going to celebrate you. They're pretty much probably going to beat you out your clothes if you go there. Because that's a lie. Like I keep telling you, my friends is black. My parents is black. My sisters, my nieces and stuff, they black. Yeah, but we all say that. It's just giving you have internalized pain and trauma that you have not dealt with. And you want to lash out at the entire black community. I've been there before. Like I have issues with my siblings, with my family, but I don't take that out on everybody else. I have to go out and get different experience and deal with different black people with different mindsets to realize, wow, you know what? All black people are not like where I come from. You're in a small town in Alabama, living happily gay ever after in a small secluded town. I'm pretty sure you deal with a lot of homophobia coming from your own community. We all deal with it. This is why it's important for black boys and girls to go to the HBCU so that they can have that genuine black experience. And I'm not talking about back in the early 90s during Freaknik era. I'm talking about going to be celebrated, not someone where you're tolerated. You want to be celebrated by the black people that's subscribing to you, sending you money on all of these social media platforms. Why the white people that you so-called praise that you want to do business with only tolerate you just because you have a black audience they want to tap into, I think it's over for you. Absolutely, I do. Oh, Lord. So, and I don't never say I don't like black women. Just say I don't like your motherfucking ass. Because you, you claim you don't like me. Just say I don't like, I'm tired of seeing you and I don't like you. But don't put it on the whole, the whole race. But y'all, y'all something serious. Y'all are something serious. And I bet y'all go look on, look at these, some of these pictures up here with these bitches talking all this shit. Look at some of these pictures with these bitches talking all this shit <laughs> and look at the color of their damn skin. And then you tell me, tell me, and I did say bitches because you don't, you, you don't know what type of feedback I get in my inbox. What people it say about worse. me, oh yeah, bitch, you a bitch too. So I ain't gonna sit there and gonna let you talk about me. Oh, TikTok might shut me down. But I'm just gonna sit there and let you talk about me and I'm just gonna stay quiet. You think worse. I'm an ugly ass bitch, then bitch, you an ugly ass bitch too. Shit. I can say cuss words just like you can. Exactly. But I got a lot of people watching me looking at me. You don't have none. You so I guess you feel like because you have a lot of people watching you and they don't have any, you just offended an entire, not just an entire gender of black people, but the entire race of black people. And then you just said, oh, it's not that you hate. And then you double down on it. I think this is the fall of Jonetta. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'm not going to support Jonetta. When Jonetta go live and crash out again, am I going to play it? Absolutely I am because people love a crash dummy. And this is by far the biggest crash out that Jonetta has given us. You sitting at home on your little raggedy ass, uh, bed bug ass couch. Sitting up there trying to goddamn get on the chat line and try to get you a piece of meat. 
No, nobody want all that. No, nobody want that no damn more. They want somebody. The men out here in these days want women that have something going for themselves. But you're not a woman that has anything going for you but attention that you just lost online. And then on top of that, Charles is pretty much admitted that he's or was a heterosexual man. I don't know who wants to sleep behind Jonella. Let's be clear. Oh, no. But apparently there are some women and some people like Larry Reed that actually wants Charles. If you can no longer bring home the bacon, get all this cloud and attention, you're going to lose Charles. And what do you have next? I remember seeing a video of Jonetta saying that he don't care what anybody say. The only way that him and Charles is going to break up is if God called one of them home. While putting special stuff, special ingredients in his food. You better run far. They don't want you motherfuckers because you can cook a meal or you think your is the best. Okay, but that's your talent. Charles, your lunch is ready. Because we're looking at you like, wow, you can cook a meal. Is it the cooking or is it what you're putting inside that meal? Because you, you think you got the best boosy and your face and your butt look the same. Look like HPV or a spoiled pot of oxtails. Let's be clear. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. Nobody heard somebody tell us about My man want me and love me because I got some good Shonda got some, Tina got some, Rachel got some, Catherine got some, Betty got some. All of them got some. You ain't the best. You just got a hole that you know how to probably do a little work to it. But if I'm. <laughs> If a hundred thousand other women thought it's the same damn thing, we got strippers and stuff all on poles and stuff, and you think you working your little <laughs> like it's the best <laughs> and it ain't. So it is what it is. So y'all just get y'all a little, you know, get y'all some business and um and um some of y'all leave miles alone and y'all might do a little better and then some of y'all Wow, that was the craziest thing I ever seen. After watching that, I mean, we all love a crash dummy, but after watching that, do you think people are going to be sending Jonetta money? I mean, let's keep it a beat. Rather you send Jonetta money or not, Jonetta's going to be making money from advertisement dollars with every click and view that he get. Are people still going to watch Jonetta? I absolutely don't know. I mean, sometimes where people only watch just to report on it. What Jonetta essentially has done was giving me authority to come and give commentary on his content while people don't want to watch you. They want to watch you on my channel while I give commentary on you. I think Jonetta is absolutely anti-black. I think Jonetta just showed his true colors. I think Jonetta's time is up. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Please make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Thank <laughs> you.